Hello and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. I've been scrolling Reddit recently and uh, I see a lot of posts about people complaining about Christoph Stoll. There is a very limited set of items. So there is three main types of complaints. Number one, for some people the items don't rotate. As you know, every single day when you come to Christoph Stoll, he's gonna have different uh, lower row of items. The top row always stays the same. It's always softwood, always uh, rocks, and always sand. But the bottom row actually changes every single day, unless you're one of those unlucky people who, for some reason, never get items changed. So that is probably number one issue that people are complaining about. And I agree, that is very, very frustrating, especially if it got locked in something that is completely useless. Like, for example, I have right now. Well, it's not completely useless, but honestly, most people use this for coal anyway. So if you don't have coal in this uh, stole, you're screwed. By the way, if you're watching this and can't uh, understand what what is this, what is this? You never seen the stole before. It's a crystal stole, and I have a video on how to unlock a crystal stole. And if I remember, I will put a link right somewhere here in order to, for you to watch this video how to get the stole unlocked. But that is that is a minor issue, by the way. Uh, we're we're done. We're done. We're we're gonna hang out later. Goodbye, girl. Bye, girl. We're girls now. Look at oh, Christoph is creeping there, just watching two girls saying hi to each other. That's creepy. Anyway, second complaint with Christoph Stoll is that the selection of items that it has is pretty limited. Did I say there was three? I take it back, there is two main complaints. And this one, in my opinion, is something that uh, the developers can actually change in the future. Again, I know this game is an early access, which means that a lot of features that we're seeing right now will very likely change by the time of release. And in my opinion, Crystal Stoll should be one of them. Now, how would I change this? So. Right now, there is only a couple items you can get from the bottom row. I think you can also get fabric, you can get coal, and you can get, uh, I think, string? I think I think that's it. Maybe a few other items that I didn't mention. But you can't really get items like iron, items like, uh, let's say, dark wood, hardwood, any kind of wood except softwood. And... Uh, I've been thinking a lot about uh, how would you improve Crystal Stall, and here is my suggestion. Uh, I personally do not agree with people who say that we should have uh, iron and all kinds of wood added into rotation. That would just make it too easy. If you could just, like one day, you get iron in here, you come here and buy like 10 full chests of iron and you never have to mine iron again. In my opinion, that would not work well. However, I have a solution that would allow this stall to actually be useful for more than just coal and also still not be extremely overpowered. Let, let, let me explain. So the regular stall, the way it works, it has three items that are unlimited. Usually it's seeds, so I can buy as many of these seeds as possible. If I want to buy these uh, pe bell pepper seeds, literally no limit. I can keep buying them until uh, until I can't buy no more, until I run out of money. However, there is another set of items. There is three items in every stall. These items are actually on rotation every single day. So some other day I will get peppers or onions. So basically you can get, uh, or blueberries. You can also get uh, berries that grow in that region. Or you can get vegetables that grow in this region. And the thing about it is that you can only buy up to 10 in each slot. You cannot buy more than 10. And once you bought 10, it disappears from the stall and it's going to be restocked tomorrow. Now, you probably already guessed what I'm going with it. I think, I think this is the, exactly what the Christoph stall needs. So we have a top row that never changes. These items, uh, they are just unlimited in here. And I completely agree. I would, I, would, I would leave them as it is, the top row. However, the bottom row 
should have a limit. And it should actually have useful items. It should it should cycle through every single farmable resources in, in the game. Every single kind of wood. Every single kind of gem. Pebbles. Uh, soil. Pretty much any possible resource that you can need for crafting. And there should be a limit on it. Maybe not 10, maybe 20. Or maybe even 10. So every day you can come to Crystal Stall, check it, and instead of just being able to buy unlimited amount of some resource that you don't, like, don't even need, you should be able to buy 10, 15, 20 every day, but they actually have to be resources that are useful. Again, as I said, wood, having every single kind of wood would be extremely useful. And only, even if you can only buy 10 a day, that is still... 10 that you don't have to farm for. If you could only buy 10 iron a day, again, that's not much. Probably 20 is a better limit. Maybe even 30. I I don't know. The point is, it should not be unlimited. Otherwise, it's going to make grinding completely useless. However, if you can plan in advance, if you know you're going to have a big project coming up in a few days, you can plan in advance and try to buy as many of the resources that you need. It's Maui time! Are you serious, Maui? Are you actually serious, right? I know why you hate him. I, 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 I totally understand why you hate him now. Please, somebody kill this man and bury him. And, and put a statue on top of it. Like, like we saw on Reddit. That was funny. That was annoying. Sorry. Interruptions. Back. So, again, we need a limit. And we need a bigger rotation of items. Bigger number of items in rotation. Absolutely need this will make the stall more useful for example you're missing like let's say 10 dark wood for a quest or something and you just come here and buy them instead of trying to grind them or you're trying to uh, like you're grinding sort of certain resource for example you, you're grinding pebbles you're doing a lot of uh, digging you're trying to build a bunch of paths it would be too easy if you could just come to the crystal stall and just buy uh, like a million pebbles right but if you could Every couple of days, the pebbles were in rotation, and you could purchase like 20 of them. You you could probably pr purchase like 100 a week, let's say. That doesn't seem too broken. You would, If you need a lot of them, you would still need to grind. But you could also get another way to uh, get resources. In my opinion, that is a very, very good compromise between being completely broken and being completely useless. Okay, can you stop this? Seriously, dude? Oh, if you see Moana, tell her Maui says you're welcome. Oh my god, I hate this guy now. I, 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 I totally understand. I totally understand. Anyway, guys, these are my thoughts on how to improve uh, the crystal stall. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think that uh, uh, crystal stall is perfect as it is right now? Or do you think we should actually have every single item? available uh, for unlimited buy. Let's let's have a discussion. I, I see a lot of posts about Crystal Stoll and I just wanted to make a video on it uh, to see uh, what's the best way to improve it. If developers are watching this, what do you think? I think? I think it's a nice compromise. But if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you're watching this video, my question is why? Why are you watching without subscribing? That makes no sense. Subscribe. Maui, tell him. Tell him to subscribe. Wow, you are really getting this. Exactly what he said. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.